We're going to take a look at what's new in HDR Graphics 2.16. Let's launch right into some pro features. First being the utility output and utility graphics. Now the utility output acts like just about any other output in HDR Graphics. I can open it up and it looks like this. By default, it has this gray background. And with the rundown, I can add graphics that are specifically used for that utility output. So here on my rundown, I'm going to add a graphic. And at the bottom of the list, I can see four new utility graphics. These are for pro users. And you can do things like test patterns. Let's take a look at that. First up is a color bar, or I can edit that into a grid and screen dimensions, or the EBU 75% color bars as well. Next one is the time of day. This is just a large time of day graphic that you can use on your utility output. And then finally, we have this cool new graphic called a speaker timer. Let's delve right into that. So with my windows rearranged here, we can take a look at the speaker timer. Now I can choose the display format, the duration. I'm going to stick with a 10 minute timer now. Decide what happens on the end. And then I can set up some warnings. But let's take a look at the timer first. Whenever I show it on air, it doesn't automatically start. I can just hold it there and I'll press the start button and it starts counting down that 10 minute timer that I set. You can see a usual controls here for speaker timers where I can minus minutes or add minutes back on again. And then I can set these warnings. So warning one and warning two. And in my case, I've set a warning for three minutes in this orange color and a one minute warning in this red color. And those are shown over here on the output, a little orange dot and a little red dot as well. And if I minus the time off of this uh, speaker timer here, you can see as I come down to the three minute mark, it will count down for the timer. And now in seven seconds, we'll see what it looks like whenever the timer goes into warning number one. And we can do the same for warning number two. I'll just go straight there and you can see it goes into the red. And then on the end, when the time is done, it starts minusing the numbers. That's because I chose on end, show negative, but I could choose hold on zero if I really wanted to. At any time I can reset that timer. So here it is reset up to 10 minutes and I can jump in and make a change. You know, maybe I want it to be a 15 minute timer now. I'll do that and I can start it again and away it goes. I have the API documented over on the docs website as well if you want to use this with something like companion or your own setup. The next feature to show here in 2.16 is the ability now to drag and drop images into the rundown. So if I grab a couple of images that are on my computer here, I can drag and drop them, place them on the rundown, and you can see that three graphics have been created, three image graphics, and these are already linked to the media. And if I show the graphic, you can see here it pops up as you'd expect it to. These are also part of the media tab as well, so they'll be automatically added in there. The next update is with the current time of day graphics. So if I show that on air here, you can see the current time of day. It's about 1040 when I'm making this video. But if I want to show this in a different time zone, perhaps you're working with a client somewhere else, you can plus or minus hours from this time zone. So if I want to say plus four hours, I can add four hours to my timer here and take a look at that. Perfect for working with international customers over Zoom. Maybe you want to share this screen and you can know what time zone they're in. And the final new thing to show you is this cool new way of grabbing variables from other graphics. So I've just right clicked on this video graphic here. And in the variable section, I can copy the time remaining variable. So let's copy that and I'll add a new, let's say message graphic, add that in here and I can paste in what I just copied. So you can see here the ID of that video. It, equals the ID of the video graphic here, and then the time remaining. And now if I show this graphic on air, you'll see that I have a 32 second graphic ready to go. And I press play on this video. You can see as the video plays back, the duration or the time remaining on this video is counting down in that message graphic. And you can see it over here on the rundown. Now this is perfect for grabbing this data and using it in other places. For example, maybe you want to use it here on this, um, large text graphic for the utility output. So if I open my utility output back up again, you can see as I show and hide these graphics, I have a countdown of the video and what time is remaining on that video. Zero, zero. I'll play it again just so you can see that I can run a countdown timer on another output with a variable from this graphic. I've also added variables for other graphics as well. For example, the message graphic, you can copy the body of that. Or if you want to do the lower third, you can grab that too. 
and the variables available are the first line and second line. So whatever I type in this graphic will be a part of this variable and I can use it in other graphics. Have fun playing with that. I think you will enjoy it a lot. And that's what's new in this version of H2R Graphics. Do let me know in the comments below or over on the website of any issues or on the Discord. There's a link to that below as well. See ya. Bye-bye.